Hi, this is Lucy, aka Benji. We're here continuing the Gender 101 series for I'm Here, I'm Queer, What the Hell Do I Read? And I'm here with another great community member who is... Uh, BJ Taylor. Um, my story in a nutshell. Um, basically, as you can tell, I present very, very masculine, and I am also sexed male, um, but I've always considered myself to be transgendered. Uh, I basically go along with what society thinks looks good for someone like me, because I enjoy looking good. Um, but it is far from who I perceive myself to be, or how I view myself. Um, I was, in, I think I first started realizing something was up in about the sixth grade. Um, we had this big, like, assembly and we were watching things that we could do when we got to junior high and I remember seeing the uh, the girls, because it was all girls, for the uh, the prep squad at the junior high get up and I remember going, I really wish I could do that but I'd be killed for it. And that was kind of how most of life was for me. That was the first time it was an outwardly social thing I really had to butt up with. Because um, before that, you know, I was raised basically by my mother most of the time. My father was definitely around in a presence, but I always had a strong affinity to her. So, you know, I grew up doing needlepoint and cross stitch and, you know, cooking, cleaning, shopping. Oh, I love shopping. Um, you know, all kinds of things that generally are considered what women do. Um, and that was very comfortable for me. And I spent all of my life having female best friends and hanging out with women. But as I started to get a bit older, I found that what society expected me to do started pulling me further and further away from who I wanted to be and who my friends were. Um, because now it was time to do football instead of looking at cheer, or time to, you know, go talk about cars instead of looking at patterns. You know, those kinds of things. Um, and as I grew up, the, the schism between those two selves started growing wider and wider apart. Um, up until the point that I actually was talking with someone who I was dating at the time and their parents about what it was I felt I was, and I, I was straight male, um, but they it's took that to assume that I was gay, because not only do you have to deal with gender issues in this world, but very often people take heterosexism and gender stereotypes to match, so if you don't fit within your gender's norms and roles, well then you must be gay as well. Um, but that was actually one of the best things that happened because it actually got me into the community. When it finally gave me the opportunity to be who I wanted to be more often. Um, because I was already, in society's eyes, uh, one of those weird outliers. So I could finally be weird in their eyes and they didn't think anything new of it. Uh, so that was really kind of a nice point, although it was horrible to go through at the time. But in retrospect. Well, thank you for giving us that intro. Oh, well, thanks for having me. That's why I came here.